Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover IncomeTax.gov.in, which is a new website, and yeah, of course, it's a pretty much unstable. So in this video, I'm going to cover how this website will look like after login and what option you will see. So before login this website, you can see here this tax genie, and this is a chatbot which was not working earlier. So you can see all these default options, and you can type anything here. So as an example, if you type say ITR2, and you can press enter. It it will be giving you response like this so here you can see all these options and anytime if you want more you can ask for more and at the end you can see all these options here like get call from agent chat with live agent so if you click on chat with live agent it would be asking you a few details name then please wait while i connect you to live agent and you are in queue please wait and uh, it would be showing you option like what queue position you would be so if you don't close browser it will keep you showing like which queue position you are once this agent would be available you can chat so let me close this for now and uh, let me log in through this website so once you click on this login you will see this page and here you will be having all these options you can log in through pen number you can log in through Aadhaar number and you can also use other user ids and they have mentioned here like which id you can use if you want to know more you can click on show more and you can see all these options right there's another way to log in with the net banking as well so once you click on here net banking it would be redirecting you to this page where you will see all these options i'll cover this in separate video through different banks anytime you can click on back you can go on the previous page and here i can log in through either pan card number or my Aadhaar number because these are the ones which are for individuals so one thing is important if you already have your account on old income tax india e-filing portal you don't need to re-register or you don't need to create an account here you can use same credentials so let me log in through my pan card here and click on continue so once you click on continue it would be showing you this option login and your pan card number if you would be login through aadhaar card it would be showing you aadhaar card number right and then you have to click here please confirm your secure message and then you have to enter your password so this would be the same password which you were using on old income tax e-filing portal so you have to click here on continue once you click on continue you will be directed on this welcome screen page so here they would be showing your profile status so let me log out again and re-log in with Aadhaar card number with the same password so to log out what you need to do you have to click here and log out so you need to click here again login now this time I'm going to log in through with my Aadhaar card number you have to enter your Aadhaar card number then again continue okay so here you can see now Aadhaar number and the same thing please confirm your secure access message and then this password would be the same which you did for pen card number so the same password you need to enter you don't need to change and here it is it's the same page which we saw there so you can use any of these options either you can log in through Aadhaar card number or you can log in through pan card number and what details you need to supply whatever details you were giving to the old e-filing portal you don't need to re-register here so one thing i noticed when i logged in through pan card number it was showing my profile 75 percent complete but when i logged in through aadhaar card it is showing zero percent complete so i'm not sure if there's any kind of bug in this new portal or this would be something like i need to update my profile here so if i click on here update profile so here it is it's showing access denied right so i think this is kind of issue which income tax department needs to address immediately because if i clicked on that link it should have landed on the page where i can update my profile it shouldn't be like access denied let me log out again and log in through pan card number so log out login again and i'm again entering my pan card here World continue so see the difference it's again showing me 75 percent complete idly in both cases it should be saying 75 percent complete and if i click here update profile it would be landing me on this page so here you can see the second bug in the date of birth it's showing one day earlier and here there's a mismatch of details between pan and profile so once you click here you can update further details but here date of birth is showing wrong in both pan card in my pan card my date of birth is mentioned correctly and in my Aadhaar card as well so this is something i would say issue or bug in the income tax website so let's quickly go through these options my bank account if you click here it, it would be showing you all these bank accounts which you have validated and anytime you can go back into your 
profile if you have any dmat account you can click it here if you want you can add dmat account here and you can put all these details and again if you go back to profile you can see these options like e-filing vault higher security so this is something like you might have seen in your bank account so that you can use otp and these are the options you would see set higher security for login you can do via net banking dsc otp using bank account evc or using dmat account evc and then for the password reset you can use all these options so just to make sure this would be adding an extra layer into the login you need to do all this when you are comfortable and should be having all these details in place as well let me go back again in the profile so here you can see static password i will be covering this in another video and there are some other details as well like aadhar card otp login so aadhar otp login is a similar option which we saw here in the e-filing vault higher security if you want to edit this option you can edit it and then you can see like do you wish to enable your login through aadhar otp for single factor authentication if you want you can do yes i'll keep it as a no because i don't want it to be enabled through otp so i cancelled and you can back it here anytime when you press on back you will be landing on this my profile page again so you can see all these options jurisdiction details source of income representative ssc's all these options at the end you will see activity log when you last log out and when you last logged in i hope it would be clear like what details you can see in the personal details section so if you click on dashboard you will be landed on this page so here you can see your pan card number aadhar card number last four digits and your mobile number your email id here you can see logged in as self so here on the top you will see this file now once you click here it would be landing on you the page where you can file your return in the tax deposit it would be showing a graphical representations like whatever tax was deposited so if you click on here it would be showing on this way and if you click on here it would be showing in the form of table so whatever you prefer you can see in the recent file returns you will see all these options for respective assessment here either you can see with the graphical or you can see in the table form pending actions if you would be having any pending actions you will see it here and i think it would be showing with the numbers so if you have say two pending actions it would be showing count as two if you would be having any then yeah it would be showing as zero recent forms filed if you would be having any recent form then it would be showing here here you would be showing all those grievances if you go down it would be showing like total outstanding demand if there would be any then yeah it would be showing it here and then your activity log like last logout time and last login time so i hope it would be clear like what would you be seeing on this dashboard page let me go through all these navigation options and show you like what details or what options would be available here before going through if you want to update anything like if you want to update your contact details you can click on update here you can update bank account details as well and you can also secure your account with e vault that i shown you earlier you can secure your account through different methods so if you go through here e file you will see these two options e file income tax returns and e file income tax form so if you go through here income tax returns you would be showing all these options if you click here file income tax return so this is the option where you can start and filing your return i will be covering in separate video so as an example if you click here current assessment year idly there should be some options here but yeah currently you don't see anything here so you can click on continue then you can go on here select mode of filing on online once you click on here it would be landing you on this page where you can click on start new filing you can select these options and you can start so here at this point itr1 and itr4 form is available now you can see all these i'll make a separate video for filing itr1 form so just wait for that for now i'm just showing you what options you would be seeing on this portal and how you can go through so if you click on here view file returns here you can find out all these which you filed earlier but yeah there's a limit here if you can say here it's saying the e-filed returns are available for download or view starting assessment year 2013-14 here you can put filter and you can see all these assessment here so i hope it would be clear how you can see these file returns so here you can see this e-verify return so if you have anything to e-verify you can see it here for now there's nothing to e-verify if you go on view form 26 years i will be covering this in separate video this would be redirecting you tds cpc web site there you can download your 26 as form for now i'm just cancelling it and here i found a kind of issue or bug if i click here download pre-filled data you can see with the url it's going through file income tax return right so this is the same option which we saw here and if you click on continue it would be 
going through this mode of filing so I start new filing and all if you go here it's not showing you download prefill data but it's redirecting on this file income tax return so this is a, another bug so I hope you got under e file and income tax return you will see all these five options if you go on here income tax forms here you can see all these forms once you click on file income tax forms you can see all these forms and you can file relevant forms so for example if I click on here it would be showing this form and and then I can file this form and if you have filed forms earlier you can click on this link and here you can see all your filed forms okay so so far now we cover dashboards and e-file under authorized partner you can see your chartered accountant I don't have any chartered accountant for myself so there's nothing to show but anytime you can add CA here you can put membership number name valid form and valid till here if you want to authorize another person to act on behalf of yourself so you can do it from here as well and here also you need to fill all those details like add authorized signatory verify request and submit request so you can do with this options in the services you will see refund reissues condonation request generate electronic verification code evc and all these options we've download epan is something for those who has applied instant pan from this website in the pending action you can see this work list so you would be seeing your work list here so there's no items in work list for action if there is anything for your information it would be showing here if there would be any outstanding demand you can see it here in the e-proceedings i don't find it useful why they are putting it as a coming soon because if you go here and under compliance portal you can again see this e-proceedings so i'm not Sure if there's something they have uh, put wrongly i will be covering this in separate video when i would be covering form 26 as so if you click here e proceeding it would be redirecting you some other website so if you click on e proceedings it would be going through some other portal and you if you click on proceed you will see that it's redirected to this compliance portal i will be covering this in separate video so just leave for now so at this point you can submit your grievances you can submit your issues and you can check status here as well right so if you want to submit anything you can click on submit then you can search for your issues and you can select the relevant department if you click on help it would be landing you on this page and where you can find all details or you can find all these topics videos right so you can search content accordingly whatever help you require you can see this session time here so i hope it would be clear to you like what options you can see on these and how you can use this portal i will be covering separate tutorials on different parts as well because i think that require a separate dedicated video if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe thanks for watching bye and take care